Welcome to Boost Solutions Classifier video tutorial. Boost Solutions Classifier aims to improve enterprise document management and raise productivity. It contains the following six tools. Bulk Properties Editor, Bulk Zip and Unzip, Document Number Generator, Item Audit, List Advanced Filter, and List Transfer. In this tutorial, we will use a set of items and show you some of the unique features of Classifier. First, choose the documents you want to edit the properties for. Then, click the Bulk Edit button on the ribbon to open the drop-down menu and select Bulk Edit. Note that you can also select Group Edit if you want to edit individual items within a group. A Bulk Edit window will open. In the Bulk Edit window, First, deselect all the columns. Next, select the first column, KB Article ID. You will notice an icon to the far right of each column. This is used for mapping a column. We will click this icon for this column. A field mapping window will open. Select which column you want KB Article ID mapped to and click OK. Next, select the language column and select the languages you want to use. Then click OK. A window will pop up to let you know when a job is finished and if there are any errors. You can see that our properties have changed in the respective columns for each of the items we selected. Next, we will take this group of items and zip them. On the ribbon, click Zip to open a drop-down menu and select Zip. A Zip document window will open. Type in the name of the Zip file, then click Zip. You can also import Zip files into a document library, download as a Zip, and send Zip files as attachments. Next, take this group of documents and generate a number for them. First, enter the document library settings page and click the Document Number Generator Settings under the General Settings tab. Click Add New Scheme. A Create Document Numbering Scheme window will open. Here, you set up the scheme name, content, formula, date format, and regenerate. Click OK to save your settings. Next, let's look at the audit log for these items. Click View Audit Log on the ribbon to open the View Audit Log window. You can filter information by date, to, user, and event. Audit logs can also be exported to an Excel file for further analysis. Next, we will use List Advanced Filter to filter information on our list. First, click List Advanced Filter on the ribbon to open the Advanced Filter Options bar below the ribbon. Use this to filter and find the documents we are working on. Lastly, let's move these items to list or library using list transfer. First, select the documents. Then, click copy documents on the ribbon. You can also move documents if you choose. A copy documents window will open. Select your target. What information to preserve and column mapping. Click on the second tab of your browser and hit refresh. You will see your documents have been successfully copied. You can also use the virtual clipboard to cut or copy your items, making transfers even faster. This brings us to the end of the video tutorial. Thank you for watching. 
For more detailed information, please refer to the classifier user manual.